Matrix, nigga, remember the name. Soon to be the best in the game. Yeah, Lambo Gang, I fuck with Lambo Gang, Bang Squad, you know, Electric Phil, that's my teams, man. I got a lot of teams and niggas that I fuck with. You know, I'm like a prince in the city. I got my start at Rough Riders. Like, Rough Riders, they, they the first major label to give me my shot, like, give me my chance. And um, I met them through Swiss. So, you know, me just being around Swiss and them seeing my grind, they made them want to fuck with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's all good, niggas handle business, nigga. <laughs> business, man. I look, it's like I met them through Swizzy and they was fucking with a nigga hard and I ended up over there because Swiss ain't had his label up and running yet. It was, it was like still, he was still in the midst of getting everything together. So I went over there, started fucking with them, got my, got my paper up, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, um... You know, I started fucking with Swiss more. Okay. Um, did my check for Juel Santana. And, like, after that, it was just, like, AM to the PM, the six minutes, and back at you for Fab, and all that type of shit came out. Like, and that's, like, the main East Coast young niggas. Like, right, you know right. what I'm saying? And I had Wheezy on a track before niggas was even using Wheezy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was just a big record for the East Coast that even have that. But, That's the thing, a lot of people don't know that I can do everything, like, I just did a Sears commercial. I just did a Sears commercial, and I did a Sears commercial last year. And so, like, like people don't even know that I do that type of shit. Like, right. so, it's like, whatever y'all want to want to think about my shit, that's just what y'all think until I hit y'all with this other shit. Exactly. And then, like, I like people, like, not knowing what, I'm, what I got next or what I got going on, and then I just come from nowhere and smash it. You know what I'm saying? Like I did can't stop me. Like that's not even a style that niggas know that I got. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if you listen to my shit, you see I fuck with samples, you see I can make regular shit, hot, party shit. Like, I'm in, like I'm the inspiration to a lot of hits too. You dig? Like I did my shit and I'm the inspiration on a lot of other shit. You right. dig? So it's just like, you know, I'm here, man. I'm here to pave my way in this music shit and just let niggas know I'm here to do my thing. I just got a fire energy around me. Like, when I go in, I just make fire. Like, okay. that's what I do. Like, you gotta understand, man. <laughs> like, the way shit is, it's like, yo, you can make a beat. Like, anybody can make a beat. Like, right. once you learn how to, the MP or whatever you're doing, anybody can make a beat. Like, it's not hard to make a beat. Right. Like, once you learn the computer or, or learn an MP, a keyboard, or, well, not the keyboard, that's a different thing. That means you're talented once you learn that shit. But the MP and fucking computer, you can learn that and make a beat. But can you make a hot beat? Right. right. Can you sell that beat? Right. No. Like, it's not like a lot of niggas can make a beat. Like, yeah, you know how to make a beat. Right. But can you sell beats? Are you a producer? No, it's like a producer going with songs, got ideas, all types of shit. It ain't like a nigga just giving a nigga a track, here you go, spit on that. Nah, it ain't that. And that's not, nigga, you a beat maker, nigga. Mm -hmm. Or you might not even be that, you know what I'm saying? You might just got lucky and stumbled up on something. Right. And, and that's how you got that beat sold or something. But that's why you don't hear niggas. Like, you hear them and be like, like, niggas be like, yo, nigga, he just, he just did that what's the name shit. I'm like... Like, who gives a fuck? Like, make another one, nigga. Like, make three more. Like, make five more. And then say something. You know what I'm saying? But I've been grinding, man. I've been doing a lot of shit. and grinding, fucking with a lot of niggas. And I just feel like I'm just one of the best. Not right now. Like, you won't see that. But I feel like I'm one of the best. Up-and-coming producers. Like, I just don't feel like no up-and-coming producer is fucking with me or the Matrix. Right? That's just how I feel. Like, I like niggas and all that, but just me, like, the way my shit just sound is just inspirational shit, and it's, like, some shit you never heard of before. Like, even if you heard a sample before, the way I would flip it, it'd feel like it's, like, brand new. Exactly. Exactly. I'm from, I'm from Philly and Atlanta. Like, I moved from Philly to Atlanta when I was eight, and okay. I stayed there until like, I was, like, 17, from eight to 17. But I would be back and forth in Philly, like... Sometimes I'd be getting in wild trouble mm -hmm. in, in Atlanta, and my mom would send me back to Philly with my dad for like 
a year or something, and I do like a year with my pops, and I'm back in Atlanta again, right. you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. But that was like every three to four years, I was mostly in Atlanta, mm. you know what I'm saying? So I went back to Philly when I was like 17, and I just never went, like stayed in Atlanta again. And from 17 to 19, 19 is when I, I moved up here, mm. and I got signed to Rough Riders, like, right when I moved up here, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. right when I came up here, I was, like, signed already. Right, right. right? They had me in a hotel and shit. I was just, like, like I came from Philly, like, <laughs> yo, it was, like, it's crazy. It's like I was in a hotel just charging everything to the room, <laughs> just going crazy, like. Living it up. Yeah, ordering room service, yo, for, like, two months. That shit was crazy. Cabs and everything, just, like. That's why we at that three. That's why the three is like hard. The three is hard. Nah, you good? The three is hard. Like, like, what's up? Who you like? Who you listen to? Who, what, what rappers you listen to? Jay Z, Kanye. Kanye, I'm easy. My bad. My bad about that. Of course, Weezy. Like my man Yeezy for like for like since like 2004, 2003. Yeezy been doing this thing. I don't even know how I didn't put Yeezy in that category and forgot about Yeezy. And he murders and, every feature and, he's on. And 50. Yeah. Like, how can I forget about 50? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, the, like, for the, from 99 to right now, those was the niggas that come from that and really do their thing. Everybody else is like, who? It's like, I'm really working with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on my shit. My shit is sounding tough. Right now, I'm working with Nipsey Hussle, True Life. Um, Cass, uh, my shit is just crazy though, like, you know what I'm saying, like, my shit is, I'm, I'm down south with, with, with my niggas, like, all my country niggas down there, just, we just riding it out, like, it's just a better vibe, just a better feel, shit feel like I'm home, like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. shit just feel good, like, that's how my music sound, like, I'm a up north nigga, like, a down south bounce, like, a down south swing, like, so, when I'm down there though, it's like I'm good. I'm Absolutely super good. good. Like I'm more, I'm better than good down that bitch. Like exactly, good, good yeah. money down. Yeah, there. and up here the same shit. I know you see a nigga shining, pull around with the big diamonds. Holds on me cause a nigga rhyming, but I gotta get my paper up. Gotta gotta get my paper up. Gotta gotta get my paper up. Gotta, gotta get my paper up Gotta, gotta get my paper up